Hey guys, Matt Fowler here. I'm going to talk to you about the most recent episode of Fear the Walking Dead. It's called Secret Service, and uh, this is your spoiler warning. If you haven't seen the episode, you might want to go watch it. Come back, watch the video, because I'm going to go into some uh, details about Chris. Going to talk about Chris again this week. Talked about him last week on my video and in my written review of last week's episode and the poor decisions he's been making. This week, though, interestingly enough, the show, and I give credit to the show for doing this, uh, directly addressed that and sort of made it part of his story. Um, it's not saying that these first few four episodes of the season weren't a sort of a trudge to get through with his decisions, jumping in the water, walking off alone on the beach by himself, shooting Reed last week when Reed was supposed to be used in exchange for his own family in a hostage deal. He makes these really impulsive, depressed, fearful uh, decisions, uh, and he gets himself into trouble. He gets his people around him into danger. Um, so it's been kind of really frustrating to watch that. This week, though, um, the show really leaned into that played off that it became a huge issue uh, when he didn't save Madison from a walker uh, and Alicia saw it and then he later threatened Alicia not to reveal uh, what she saw. He's in panic mode. He's making these really rash, horrible, cowardly decisions and he's on the spiral now. We don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if this is going to pay off well. I don't know if by the next episode he's going to be redeemed and everything's going to be fine. If he's going to die, is he meant for the chopping block? Uh, or if he's just going to keep going unraveling into a, a more villainous role eventually. Because right now he's not really a villain, but he's headed that way. He's headed toward the dark side here. Um, and then he was there caught with the, the knife at the end. When the gunshot went off, everyone woke up. He's standing holding the knife. Now he could easily say, this isn't what it looks like as you would on a murder show when someone picks up a weapon next to a dead body and they're like, what? That's not the case here. He walked over there and he picked up the knife. What was he gonna do? What was he contemplating? So he can't even use that excuse, he just ran. So interesting turn of events this week with Chris. Uh, I don't know where it's headed, uh, but I kind of like that the show is now acknowledging Chris's really poor decision-making skills uh, in the Zompocalypse. What did you guys think? You can read, read uh, my written review on IGN.com. And um, Stay tuned to uh, IGN for all the future Fear the Walking Dead news.